Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. So today we have something special. We're gonna take this uh, trail bike, uh, our build YZ250 on the track. I'm at Kawia. Let me show you. guys so let's do this I have certain expectations of course the suspension is not done for this kind of riding so it's probably gonna feel uh, a little soft well it all depends if I land where I'm supposed to it's probably it probably will be okay and I'm really excited <laughs> well this is essentially a motocross bike we just tweaked it a little bit so it shouldn't be too off let's go guys <laughs> I already warmed it up. Oh, this thing, this thing feels right at home. Inside. We can go outside here. Inside. Woohoo! That guy on YZ250 is super fast. <laughs> Man, this bike feels great on the track. Wow. Dude, 252 stroke. Wow. Feels amazing. Really surprising. I don't really ride 252 stroke on the track. I think I only did it once or twice on the KTM demo day but not like this and this is fun man all right guys so <laughs> first uh, impression why is it 250 on the track uh, this thing feels right at home uh, yeah you can't deny that this is uh, essentially a motocross bike that I just tweaked a little bit to, to fit a little bit faster trail riding and you can definitely feel that the motocross is in uh, this bikes DNA and it just feels so good 
And uh, I mentioned on the video uh, that uh, I don't usually ride to 50s on a track. This is uh, probably my third time and before I was just uh, on the demo day so you get one lap on the bike. You don't really get a feel for it. Today I spent like maybe one hour riding on the track and uh, I love it. It's a little bit different than on a four stroke. It's a little bit different than on the bikes I usually ride. And uh, I had to adjust my riding a little bit. And uh, I would say I still didn't adjust it uh, well enough to uh, to handle it the way it's supposed to be. For example, one thing I noticed is uh, when I usually come to a jump, then I carry some momentum to the jump and I let it go of throttle. I don't carry the throttle, you know, when I go uh, on the on the jump when I hit the takeoff. I just let go of the throttle or I keep the same. And then when you are on the four stroke, when when you hit the jump, then the engine brake will, will actually br bring your front wheel down. So uh, you don't need to do anything. Just because of that engine brake, when you go off the gas, it, it evens out the bike. On this two stroke, I was doing the same. I hit the jump with the same smooth throttle, but there is not a much uh, engine brake on this bike. So my front wheel will stay up like that. And uh, I hit couple jumps like that sometimes it got a little bit too much when I was a little bit more on the gas I went wheeling uh, on the jump and I landed on the on the rear wheel and slapped my front wheel so I would need to adjust my riding a little bit to that that's something new that uh, I didn't know before and then second thing that uh, got me in a trouble a couple times uh, is that uh, it has more power than the bikes I usually ride and what I usually do when I go in a turn and I feel like already I'm in like in the apex I want to give it gas and I clutch it a little bit right and get my wheel spinning to exit the turn so this bike has when it catches that mid of power and it's really kind of low on the bottom and down power band and mid it pulls really good because of the porting we have done by uh, Tom Morgan so it started pulling from the bottom and the mid and it got me in a trouble maybe like three four times where my rear wheel wanted to you know go wanted to kick me sideways so i had to go off the gas because i over over steered that that turn a little bit few times <laughs> Normally when I'm on a 254 stroke, I just give it full throttle and clutch it and it, it's just enough what I need. But on this bike, you have to be really a little bit more careful because the full throttle and a little bit of clutch is uh, too much. Second gear, third gear, then uh, it was a little too much on some of the turns. And also I went down once, uh, I was a little bit faster. I passed two guys and then I jumped down and uh, just rear wheel uh, is a little bit dry. It's later in the day, it's 1 p.m. So I got... Uh, in a slide and just fall down. I'll show it, you'll probably see it already on the video. We have really good rear brake. <laughs> All right, so uh, another thing that I noticed that uh, wasn't uh, 100% is, of course, the transmission, right? We changed the transmission, we put this uh, wide ratio. So we put the wide ratio transmission in this thing, and then the third gear on the wide ratio is uh, short. So yes, I felt it that, uh, you know, when I pull first, second, and then I wanted to go third and keep it a little longer, I run out of the third gear real quick, so I had to shift to fourth gear. So that was a kind of you know downside there but then the third gear would pull better from the turn so i could stay in a third gear third gear on the low rpm a little bit longer i didn't have to downshift because the third gear is a little bit shorter so i don't know plus there are pros and cons but i think i would probably prefer to have uh, just the regular yc250 transmission especially here on the track and if i'm doing this build all over again I think I'm gonna leave the third short gear out and uh, just do four or five from the wide ratio or maybe just do one, two, three, four from normal YZ and only fifth from wide ratio. So if you are on the connecting trails, you can hit that fifth long gear and, and you can have that uh, high overall speed. But even this is not bad. I mean, it's it has its purpose. It's just not really the best uh, for the track. But overall, I'm impressed. This bike feels really good, man. <laughs> it's a really great, uh, overall bike you can take it anywhere suspension was actually decent uh, 
some jumps I over overshot today and I landed flat and I was hitting it a little bit uh, faster than normally and it was fine I didn't bottom out uh, it felt okay really good suspension nothing to nothing bad to say about it and yeah a couple times I landed you know on the rear and then slapped the front because of that wheelie on the on the jump so that was a little bit different but it handled everything brakes are amazing that's why I got into trouble that's why I crashed a little bit maybe I scratch it just a little bit <laughs> all right my friends well cool bike for the track as well I'm definitely going to build one more YZ250 that would be straight motocross bike because I just I just like how it feels on the track you know vibration I don't really feel a lot of vibration on my hands on my feet I kind of got used to it but on my hands I feel good it's not bothering me I could do long moto pretty much the same I'm doing on a four stroke so the bike did not cause uh, my motor to be shorter it was exactly the same as I would be on the smooth four stroke right so I think uh, having a good YZ250 on a track uh, that is built just for motocross would probably be a good thing to do uh, sometime in the future all right my friends well that's about it for today let me know how you like the, like the video how you like the bike how it sounds and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you guys later